Luke, it's been said about this team, you never know who's going to be carrying the offense that night. Tonight happened to be your night. But how much effect, more effective does this make that? Does it make your team? Yeah, I mean, I think we, we're very effective because, uh, like you said, anybody, it can be anybody on any night. You know, coach always says sometimes you, sometimes me, but it's always us. So we got plenty of guys who can score it and uh, contribute regardless whether it's our starting five or our bench. So, yeah. So what do you think it was what it was that made you effective tonight? Uh, I think that I had some open shots early. Justin, Amari, they made some good passes out, so I got some clean looks. And then I think we just took advantage of our size inside. So that's what I think it was. And, you know, two highly regarded teams coming into this game, even though it's for them the season opener. How significant is it this win for you, you know, to get that win over UNCW? Yeah, uh, just it's another conference win for us. But it's, it is good to start out uh, with another win. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter who we play. We're just happy to have another conference win. Hey, Loki, can you talk about your three-point shooting tonight? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had some, some open looks pretty much all of them I shot I thought were open. So I was able to knock them down, but they were just great looks from Garfield through a nice pass. I remember in the second half, uh, Justin and Amari made some good passes out there. So I was just wide open, and it was, I just had to knock them down. How do you think your team has looked so far through the first two conference games? Uh, I think we look we look pretty solid. We, obviously, we still have some room to improve, but I'm happy that we have took care of business the first two games. Winning's not easy, so I'm happy about that. But obviously, there's still room to improve, so I'm sure we'll we'll get together tomorrow and figure out some areas where we can improve on. On nights like tonight, how does it feel when you get your rhythm? Is that after the first shot or after the second? <laughs> Uh, uh, probably after the first one, I would say. It's always good to see the first one go in. His first shot probably went in around 6.15 this morning, <laughs> if he's being honest. Good for Luke. Yeah, coach, go ahead. What's up, John? how you doing, man? How are you? Um, what was your focus tonight before you started and did you achieve it? Yeah, our focus every game is about us, right? Can we rebound it? Can we guard and transition, and can we take care of it? Um, I thought we did some of those things well early. I don't think we did a great job taking care of the ball early, um, and I don't think we finished possessions. And the way we talked about finishing possessions at halftime was we're one for six from the foul line. Finish possession, just make your free throws. And I thought I don't know how many old boards they had. I thought they had eight offensive boards in the first half. I don't have a full box in front of me, but their second chance points. It was it was nine to three um, at halftime, and that was our focus. Finish the possession, whether it's uh, get a rebound, make a free throw, or take care of the basketball. Coach, you guys left for over, what's going on? You guys left for over 34 minutes of the game. You guys left over 34 minutes of the game. Do you take more out of a win like this, leading wire to wire? No, uh, there's a lot we can take, whether we have the lead for one second or 34 minutes, whatever it is. I, I think that's a really, really good team. I think that's a really well-coached team. Um, I think they've done a great job putting guys in situations where you really have to adjust. Um, and uh, you know what, Trey White, he's, there's a reason he's a first team, you know, player of the year candidate. And uh, I thought he was really good. But uh, I thought we did a nice job defending the three better in the second half than the first. Um, they're a good team, right? And I think this was two of the top teams in the league. And uh, we took advantage of being at home. I thought Luke House was terrific. I thought our guards did a good job finding him. Like he's Lucas and Amari found him on a couple. There was a freak play where he kicked out in the corner and he made people pay, right? It's almost a foul or a guy was falling over, but... We wanted to be aggressive tonight. I thought Luke was aggressive getting to the rim. I thought Amari was aggressive. We took advantage of their pressure, got a backdoor dunk early. Um, but like I said, I think every game in, in, this, in the CAA, is you better come ready to play. If you're not, you're cooked. I have no idea what the scores were tonight around our league, but nothing will surprise me. Um, we've got a split weekend. We were home tonight. We're on the road at a 2 o'clock start on a Saturday in Williamsburg. So you got to get you guys out of here so we can meet with our team and, and move on to the next one. How much do you think your defensive effort led to the, uh, to the one? 
I didn't, I didn't think it was great in the first half. I, I, I would need to go back. I thought their th three-point looks were pretty clean. Uh, I thought the second half was better, but I do think that, uh, you know, I have to go back and look and see. I know they went one for 13 from three. Maybe that's on the road. Maybe they were heavily contested. We'll see how clean they were or not. But, um, listen, we're, we're very happy to get the win at home. I think we were okay in the first half, and I thought we had 12 turnovers. Like, we can't be one-to-one, -one, right? We need to be 18 and nine or something like that. So we got to do a better job taking care of the basketball. But um, we've been a good defensive team for the most part, right? You guys weren't there at 11 a.m. in, you know, beautiful uh, Smithfield, Rhode Island on December 22nd. We weren't very good. But I think the last two games, we've been pretty good since then. How would you say has your team looked so far through the first two conference games? Uh, I don't. I think we've had individual conference games. We've had one game, then we've had another, and then we got another one Saturday. So, you know, Dave, that's hard for me to answer. Um, we've been good enough to beat the team on that day at that time. Um, we play Wilmington tomorrow or Hampton at another time. Is the outcome the same? I don't know. Right. So we're just focusing on being as good as we can possibly be. Um, I think our staff is really detail-oriented and scouts. I thought we did some things differently from a coaching standpoint to uh, have some variety. And, uh, but I think at the end of the day, you hit nine threes and you hold them to six for 30. And uh, a much better job at the foul line in the second half. You can look at the stat sheet. You see Luke's you know, 25 come out. but Surprises nobody, right? Like, I mean, you see what the guy does. You know his work ethic. He gets his mail here. He has breakfast here, his dinner here. I mean, he's he opens the building for the janitors. Like, that's how long, that's how quick he's, it's how often he's here. But I'm seeing seven assists from Justin Moore. Can you talk about his contribution? I mean, Justin flirts with a triple-double, and I still think he can play better. I think all his turnovers were in the first half. A little slow start. But listen, they're active. They're good. It's a good team. Um, I thought they created some of those things. So um, I think we'll continue to see Justin continue to evolve and grow and I thought he did a pretty good job finding some open shooters. How about the points in the paint tonight? You guys dominated that tonight with 30 points in the paint. Yeah, I, I thought Amari was, was really good. You know, a lot of times Amari's strengths are first his defensive presence and shot blocking and shot altering. Second is his passing ability. And then third is his ability to score down low. And, and, but I thought tonight he did a good job playing and finishing with force around the rim. And, uh, you know, he's 7 for 12 from 3. I mean, he's a guy that at one point was shooting in the 40s or 50s from the foul line over his career. Uh, he's been as high as 71. Um, certainly a number can go a little higher, but I thought we hit enough free throws to keep that margin at bay down the stretch. Okay, guys, we'll see you in Williamsburg, Virginia at 2 o'clock on Saturday.